Welcome to the Master Cars Pro channel. Today we will talk about the problems and weaknesses of Volvo S80. Apparently the people of Sweden are more concerned with well-being than showing off, which is probably why the Volvo S80 focused on offering a comprehensive set of automatic safety tech rather than have really flashy styling of the lights of the Audi A6, BMW 5 Series and Mercedes-Benz E-Class. If you're a bit like that yourself, you'll be pleased to hear that the S80 is now a bit of a bargain thanks to steep depreciation. The S80's engine range evolved over time, but you'll need a good reason to look at anything other than a diesel petrol, particularly the 4.4 liter V8 are rare and don't have the overall appeal of the diesels because of their high CO2 emissions and expensive road tax originally to 2.4 uh, liter diesel engines were available one with 161 bhp bashed to for 2.4 d and the other with 182 bhp d5 towards the end of uh, 2007 uh, 134 bhp 2.0 liter diesel d3 was launched it proved popular popular with company cars um, drivers and was revised in 2010 to produce a bit more power uh, 161 bhp in early 2009 the 108 bhp the one uh, 0.6 D drive, um, late renamed D2, came along and although it sounds witty, its performance is acceptable. In reality and fuel economy is excellent. Uh, 181 BHP 2.0 liter D4 arrived in 2014, while the D5 was updated again to increase power output to uh, 212 BHP and reduce running costs. The firm uh, suspension of the S80 can be jittery on poor surfaces and thus over potholes, still it makes the car uh, composed and reasonably agile at higher speed. The light steering is good for town driving but feels uh, increasingly numb the faster you go, wind and road noise are noticeably uh, at higher speeds and the diesel engines are loud when pushes hard. The S80's interior is classy, solidly built and able to sit for in comfort. Uh, however, it's not as roomy as the 5 series of or E-Class at 422 liters. The boot is, uh, isn't as class uh, liter but the 60 uh, 40 split uh, folding rear seats mean larger loads can be accommodated. Uh, the entry level SE came with all the essentials including alloys, electric windows and climate control but uh, SE added leather, leather upholstery and upgraded stereo. SE Sport got heated and cooled uh, front seats and adaptive chassis system but we don't think it's worth the extra. SE Lux aided wood inlays uh, to the dashboard and electrically adjustable passenger seat, the Xenon headlights and rear uh, parking sensors, while top of the range executive um, models feature uh, extra chrome on the outside, softer leather on its inside, uh, premium surround uh, sound system, uh, front parking sensors and heated rear seats. The S80's front tires can wear at a greater rate than expected and phantom electrical issues can cause multiple false warning lies on the dashboard. The timing belts, pulleys and tensioners on the diesel engines all need work after around 60,000 miles or 4 years so check when this job was previously uh, carried out. Uh, some uh, S80's will have been ordered. Uh, with a light colored interior that, while looking rather nice and cozy, can show up dirty uh, quite easily. Make, sh make sure you inspect the interior for stains, marks, especially in the carpets um, on the seats, because they can make the car look uncared for and grubby. Most marks should come out with a good clean at least. Volvo is a presently 
uh, in the process of recalling around 70,000 cars in, in the UK fitted with uh, 2.0 liter diesel engine over potential engine fires. There isn't a fix at the moment, so owners uh, are being told by, to pay attention to any unusual smells coming into the interior if the engine warning light illuminates or if the engine hesitates under acceleration. A software update is currently being sought to correct an uh, issue with the fuel gauge showing the wrong level on vehicles constructed between 24 November to 2014 and uh, 17 April 2015. The current advice if your car is affected is to keep at the level above a third of a tank to ensure you don't run out the uh, fuel until a fix can be implemented. The auxiliary drive belt tensioner on some S80s made between uh, 1st January 2007 and 31 December 2010 can fail and lead to a loss of power steering. Contact your local Volvo dealer if you think your car is affected but it'll need a new tensioner to solve this problem. There could be a coolant leak during the warm-up process of some as 80s built between 28 May 2010 and 5 May 2015 that could result in an engine fire in extreme circumstances. Check with the Volvo dealer to make sure your car isn't affected by this. Um, the fuel hose uh, used in some as 80s has been found to be cracked from the inside which could lead uh, to a fuel, a fuel leak if not fixed. This applies to cars built between 11 April 2015 and 30 March 2016. A Volvo dealer will be able to tell you whether or not your car is affected. On some S80s built between for April 2012 and 28 January 2015 that have a manual gearbox and start stop technology fitted the parking brake uh, might release without warning. This happens with the engine on and when the gear lever uh, lever is moved so it shouldn't occur when the car is left unattended and the Volvo dealer will be able to let you know if your car is affected and apply the updated software it required to prevent uh, this from happening if required. Uh, for models 5 years or older Volvo has a brand uh, finished in 20th place out of 28 manufacturers in our latest reliability survey which is a great result. The S80's engine lineup is an extensive one so narrowing down at top pick is tricky. Patrol examples are rather rare and must sit in the highest tax uh, bracket so unless you really want or need one you'll be better off with a diesel. Pass facelift 2.0 liter D4 models are the most economical and command a bit of premium over the over other versions. So unless you do plenty of miles, they might not take um, make as much financial sense as going for a more readably uh, available uh, 2.4 dB D5. Try to go for a post 2011 example because. Because they're more efficient than earlier ones, SE models come with uh, all the equipment you'll need and cars from 2012 onwards have almost a uh, safety, uh, city safety suit of technology included as standard. Also look out for any car fitted with the winter pack because that means you'll get heated from seats that make those uh, cold morning commutes more tolerable. And the Audi A6 is perhaps a tad classier uh, than the Volvo because its interior is of higher quality and it has a posher batch. It might not seem quite as stylish inside, but the A6 infotainment is vastly superior and much easier to use. Although you won't get the same level of safety tech unless you find one with lots of options fitted. If you want an executive car that can cover all bases, there's little uh, to change. Uh, challenge the BMW 5 Series, extremely good refinement and uh, decent efficiency, high quality interior, excellent infotainment and tidy handling make this big uh, BMW a great choice. 
Again, you won't get the same level of safety equipment as you get in the S80, but that's the only downside. Well, if you are the owner of this car, then please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback that'll help viewers when choosing a car. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for attention. It isn't much work for you to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.